So yeah, it's Liz. Today on the podcast, I'm going to talk a bit about the changes we have recently implemented. Hi, welcome to the Hungarian Living Podcast. I'm your host, Elizabeth Sabo Voss. Our goal is to discover, celebrate, and share Hungarian heritage and encourage you to do it too. We'll touch on food, travel, history, music, and language, and share stories from our listeners. We're glad you're here. This is a podcast where we'll encourage you to dig deeper to learn about your Hungarian heritage in a variety of ways. We'll have thought provoking conversations and share resources. So, whether you know a little or a lot about being Hungarian, this is the place to be. Welcome to the Hungarian Living Podcast. First of all, let me apologize that things have been so quiet around here. All of the website work took an incredible amount of time, and there is still some fine tuning that needs to happen. So we had to push the pause button on something, and the podcast was the thing. We will get back up to speed as soon as possible, although the new speed will be every other week. We have completely overhauled the HungarianLiving.com website. If you stopped by there, you may have noticed. If not, please go look. You can listen to the podcast right from the website with our fancy podcast player. Okay, so maybe it isn't all that fancy, but it has all the episodes together in one spot. Or you can find the show that interests you on the individual show notes page and listen from there. And we have put all of our resources on the Hungarian Living website. And then for the big change, our store that was called Mudyar Marketing for all these years has changed to The Hungarian Store and can be found at thehungarianstore.com. I know, I know, it's a change. It's a huge change. To be fair, though, we have been referring to ourselves as Budger Marketing, the Hungarian store, for several years. Why? Well, I'm so glad you asked. Let me tell you. We have noticed a shift in our customer base, and quite a few of them do not know what the word Mudyar means. So when we only answer the phone saying Mudyar Marketing, we often heard the caller say, oh, I must have the wrong number. Or when we would return a call and say, hi, it's Liz from Mudger Marketing. And if I didn't say, you left a message about buying some Hungarian things, quickly, they would hang up or scold me for telemarketing them on something because they were not familiar with the word Mudyar, and they only recognized the word marketing. So in order to combat that, we started answering the phone with Mudyar Marketing, the Hungarian store, this is Liz, and things seemed to go a bit better. Let me take a moment here to say that there is no shame in not knowing what the term mudyar means. It means Hungarian, by the way. I always, from little on, knew I was Hungarian. But when did the term mudyar come into my vocabulary? I don't recall. It could have been when my mom started the business. Well, maybe a little earlier than that. But we didn't run around saying we were mudyar. We talked about being Hungarian. We ate Hungarian food. And we even knew some Hungarian words and phrases. But the word Magyar or Magyarorsag, which means hungry, was not a regular part of our vocabulary. If someone doesn't know what Magyar means, it's a problem for us. I mean, really, how will they know we are out there? If they can't find us, how can we help them discover, celebrate, and share Hungarian heritage? When my mom started Magyar Marketing in 1988, it was created to help people like herself be encouraged to find ways to pass on their Hungarian heritage. She was a fluent speaker, and she knew many people who were also fluent speakers, so they all knew what Magyar meant. Fast forward 30 years, and the second and third generation customers don't always know what Magyar means. And that is okay. Our goal is to help people dig into their Hungarian heritage. If you are learning Hungarian, you will learn what Magyar means. If you are researching genealogy, you will learn what Magyar means. And if you hang around with us at all, you will learn what it means and hopefully learn how to pronounce it too. We are here to support those who are committed or even just curious about learning more about Hungarian heritage, and it needs to be accessible to those who do not speak Hungarian. So that is the big part of the name change. So when you take one of our language or cooking classes or send a gift to someone, you need to visit thehungarianstore.com. If you are looking for our podcast or all of our free resources and encouragement to make a deeper connection with your Hungarian heritage, visit HungarianLiving.com. And if you are interested in our tours to Hungary, visit MagyarLiving.com. And if you just want to keep saying Magyar Marketing, you can definitely do that. We surely will too. 
It rolls off the tongue so nicely. Visit MuddyerMarketing.com and there you will find the links to the three places I just mentioned. Mudyer Marketing has not disappeared. It has just been elevated to a position to help direct those who are familiar with the business to find the resources they are looking for. We have been in the business of marketing the Mudyar culture since 1988, and we continue to do exactly that in more and more ways. Be sure to visit HungarianLiving.com and sign up for our e-newsletter, and check out the changes and let us know what you think. We are headed to Georgia over the weekend, and we plan to check out a few Hungarian things along the way. I will let you know how that went and talk about the spots along our travels. If you live in the area, there are things you don't want to miss. We will feature it in an upcoming episode of the Hungarian Living Podcast. Thank you for listening to this episode of the Hungarian Living Podcast. We will have links in the show notes to the websites mentioned in this episode, and we hope you check them out, and we hope you like what you see. For more fun conversations about all kinds of things that have to do with Hungarian heritage and culture, be sure to tune in to our next episode of the Hungarian Living Podcast. If you have an idea for a topic to be discussed on this podcast, send an email to podcast at hungarianliving.com. See you next time. Hungarian Living is a division of Mudyar Marketing, the Hungarian store, where you can find meaningful gifts with Hungarian style. Check us out at mudyarmarketing.com. And special thanks to Stephen Chichek and the Animal Cannibals for the show music. Thanks for listening. If you enjoyed this episode of Hungarian Living, please subscribe and share this podcast with your favorite Hungarian. Check out our show notes for links to resources mentioned in this episode. If you have a question or comment, email us at podcast at hungarianliving.com. We'll catch you next time.